Hello everyone, this is Feel Good, Feel Good Gunpla, back with another Gunpla unboxing. This one is another one of those kits that was in my backlog, that literally was in my backlog for years and been through, through, been through two moves with me. Now, the funny story about this is, this and a few of SDs, kits SD kits were kind of new for me one because of the fact that at first I was building master grades and nothing but um at the time I thought master grades was the only thing that well let me put it this way it's the only thing I like building at the time when I came into Gunpla when I came to start building Gunpla and only like later I guess you can say I started appreciating those kits like the high grades the real grades and finding the SD kits these were one of the first SD kits that I actually bought. And I think it may have been three kits, maybe three kit, SD kits that I bought. And then later I started buying more because I just actually like to build. SD kits for me are like a relax. Uh, it's like a vacation from building. I don't know why, but they just are. And every now and then I have to build an SD kit. It's like... Other than like doing something else, uh, it's SD kits normally are fun builds for me. So when I first bought SD kits, um, I didn't know how, basically depending on grades of kits, uh, how each one was done. Like, for example, your master grades, your real grades, and perfect grades are going to pay attention more to detail and depending on which kit, anime accuracy. SD kits, on the other hand, don't. Yes, you know, it stands for super deformed and the big head. But originally, when I bought, first bought the SD kits, my biggest problem was um, they didn't do the, um, they didn't have, uh, they weren't anime accurate when it came to, like, color separation. And in some instances, color, I mean, sorry, um, part separation. And in some cases, it's a combination of both color and part separation. So I had a problem with that for a while. So much so, when I bought this kit, opened up and looked at the parts, I wouldn't build it. I'm like, nope, not doing it. Um, I guess some people, why didn't send it back? Well, I just didn't feel like it. Over time, as I started building kits, and really in a way kind of doing research on the SD kit line, to come to find out that's just how way it is. That's just how they do it. That's just how they manufacture it. So, um... You know, the only way to fix that is just paint it. So I just just finally realized that's just how SD kits are. That's just some you have to live, some we all have to live with as builders when it comes to these SD kits. They're not going to be 100% uh, color and parts, 100% um, um, enemy accurate. You know, they're not going to get the part and color separation right, just right. At the most, they'll get it like maybe 80% right. 75 to 80 percent right if you're lucky so it is what it is so again i am going to build this kit um it, i guess you can say uh i might want to start making like a a video series gunplay series called the back log chronicles where i just build kits that have been in my backlog for like a number of years because this one has been in my backlog for years. Um, just like the other one. And I've probably said this before. I've been through two moves. So. Here it is right here. Sorry about the glare. Now let's see what's in the box. Alright. First up we have the builder's manual. Of course. Illustration here, back here. Also, it's, it's this is like one of the older like kits that came out. So yeah, all right. Maybe gates here. You know how to build and everything here. I'm gonna try to get a little close up without too much glare. Here. And of course, 
here. All right, we have the sticker sheet right here. Pretty much standard when it comes to your SD kits, you know, you don't have the sticker, table sticker for the eyes and sensors and plus other parts of the body. Also, this is done with high grades as well. With some, with some high grades is done more than others, but definitely with SDs, you know, they use stickers to kind of help with the color and part separation. All right, we have the B-Runner here. Basically, we got head parts, hand parts, and gun parts. And also looking like waist parts. So there's the waist, head, hands, beam rifle. Also here are the beam effect parts for it which is a nice touch. This is the C-Runner. And uh, I, 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 I like the fact that they added it to it. Looking very nice. All right, here's the polycap runner here, you know. Polycaps come standard with kits, losing most of them. All right, here's the A2 runner. Look like we got some wing parts here. Feet, waist. Honestly, I don't know what these parts is. It may be part of feet. I don't know. Last but not least, the A1 part. I mean, gate. I mean, runner. Sorry. Looks like we have the V fin here. I think this is the chest parts here, shoulders, um, sword. All right, that is everything for this, uh, what came with this Gumpla kit. Again, just like the other one, um, the basically the walking tank. No one was kit that been in the backlog for quite some time. And uh, finally, I am going to build it. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I appreciate everyone taking the time out today to watch my videos. I really appreciate it and it means a lot. And I wish everyone a good day. Later.